What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Alexis Maurice. Um, I know I'm a day late, but I'm damn sure not a dollar short with my Real Housewives of Atlanta um, episode three, season five recap. So let's just go ahead and move, cut the small talk, and let's just go ahead and move into it. So first off, who's on my hit list? Nene and Greg. Okay, so what's going on with y'all? What's the whole point of y'all interaction this season? Y'all are B-O-R-I-N-G. Boring. Boring, boring, boring. This whole um, storyline with um, him trying to get back in, you know, good with you or trying to move back in with you or whatever hell Greg is doing. It's late. It's boring and it's tired. And if y'all just do, if y'all don't do this the whole season, they can just go ahead and write you and Greg out. Now, Neely, I love you. I definitely love you. you you're definitely doing your thing on the New Normal. For those of y'all who don't watch New Normal, please, please, please watch it every Tuesday night um, on NBC. Most people probably won't understand the humor on it, but the show is so funny. But anywho, this back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Nene, like I said, it's boring. Um, it's boring. Um, you seem very fake this season as well. Like, for example, when you and Cynthia were up in New York and Cynthia was teaching you, you know, how to ride the subway and all kind of stuff like that. And those kids, you know, were kind of this, they were standing there looking at you and they were like, are you, you know, the, the lady from Glee? Yes. I'm coach sets and sets because Robin's from Glee. Yes. Yes, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. She, You were just real fake. It just seems like a lot of your interactions that are on TV and stuff like that, it's not authentic. Um, so, I don't know. And like, every time you and Cynthia get together, it just looks real forced and fake as well. Cynthia's just make, going out of her way to give you all of these comments all the time. These um, compliments and things like that. And you just sit there and eat it up your flat ass but um yeah the, the whole nini thing is is just boring and nini you know up in new york and they had her and cynthia at the hot dog stand i don't know what part what um side of town y'all were in new york because every time i go to new york and if i go up there and get a hot dog it's a whole bunch of flies and shit flying you know around the hot dog stand but everything was just so extra clean when you just so happen to be on the street in in New York with the hot dog stand so I'm just assuming that whole ordeal was just completely staged or whatever but Nene like I said girl I like you you know I like you a whole lot but you just seem very very fake and whatever you and Greg doing please stop because it's really getting on my damn nerves I think it's getting on a lot of our nerves but anywho um, and Miss Lawrence came up, you know, in the salon while you were, um, you and Greg were getting y'all feet done. Miss Lawrence, girl, what is going on with you? You know, the streets are talking and the streets are saying that you ain't too healthy these days. I ain't the one to gossip. So you ain't heard that from me. But the people on Twitter, the folks, the girls, the kids, everybody is talking, you know, saying that you might just be a little bit sick. And I hope that's not the case because I live for you. But um, I don't know. Maybe your makeup. Maybe you need to try some new makeup because it's just looking a little cloggy or whatever. It's It just ain't cute. It's just not cute at all. But I hope what they say ain't actually true. What's going on with you? What else? Um, Phaedra. My old Southern Belle. I love you to death, girl. Um... But an observation that I've I've made and some of my friends have made too is that it always seems as if Apollo is a guest or a visitor in his own home. Seem like Apollo ain't don't seem like he's never home with you or he don't know where certain things at. Now girl, it ain't like you got a big house. So your house ain't but so big, but at the same time still, I'm just trying to figure out why he always seemed like he's a stranger in his own home. But congratulations, Apollo, for getting your certification um, in fitness or whatever the case may be. I don't, you may have got it down at the community college um, down there in Atlanta. Congratulations for your certification. And Miss Phaedra said, um, when God was giving out um, booty, she said, two scoops for me, please. That was cute. That was really, really cute. Um, speaking of homes, at least your home, um, is bigger than, um, that home Kim about to move into. Kim about to go back to her town home down there, 
um, in Atlanta. But Kim, let's keep it cute, girl. Okay, so you move into that big house and now you got to pack up all your stuff and you got to leave because your ass got evicted and y'all credit probably not good enough or y'all may not have a you know stable enough income where y'all can get a bigger house. Um, so what you need to do is go on back to your townhouse in Atlanta, get y'all coins up, and then find y'all another house. I don't believe you for one damn second when you said that you can't find you another house in Atlanta that's as good as that one. Child, please. Girl, boo, and bitch, bye. All that, all of the above. You need to go ahead and find you another house. And if you can't find you another house, go on home and move into your townhouse where you and your husband and your um your two children, them two girls, and them two little boys that you care or that one boy, Croy Jr. or whatever the case may be. And Croy, please get your damn head fixed. I told you the last time in my video that your hair look a damn mess. Fix it. Um, what else happened? Did y'all hear when Phaedra called Kenya a strange bird? <laughs> I about died when Phaedra said, Phaedra is so stupid. Everybody hated Phaedra when she started on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I loved her from day one. I said, oh my God, she is so funny. She's going to be the next breakout star. And I love her. But Phaedra called Kenya a strange bird. Speaking of Kenya, Kenya, girl, I live for you. I L I B. E. No, did I, I spell that right? L I V. I hope I ain't pulling on no Mama D. But I live for you, King King. You don't care what you say. Whatever is on your mind comes out your mouth, and you don't make no apologies for it. And I appreciate you. I appreciate you for being honest. You're a little cuckoo now. Don't get me wrong. You seem a little cuckoo. Like you got mad at Portia because Portia didn't know the difference between Miss America and Miss USA. Child, don't nobody know the difference between them two things unless you probably involved in that whole pageant circle or that pageant circuit. The rest of us don't know nothing about no pageants. So we don't know the difference between um, USA. I don't care if you Miss USA, Miss America, Miss South Carolina, Miss Georgia, um, Miss Northeast, Miss New England region. I don't care. The whole point is that um, don't nobody know. Don't nobody know nothing about um, your title or anything like that. So, you know, it was kind of crazy of you to get mad at Portia. But Miss um, Portia, um, yarn, you're airhead. You're definitely riding on the coattail of your grandfather, Hosea Williams. Um... You seem very dingy. Um, for example, you didn't even know when she was like talking or in the confessionals or something. She was like, oh, what is that thing again that we're in? A recession. I hope you was playing and I hope that was just for TV. Because, um, yeah, you're just, you're just real, real boring to me. Um, but I caught the shade when you were talking to Kenya and you were saying how... Uh, Candy, Nene, and Phaedra are supporters um, for your grandfather's foundation. I mean, they come to the events and they just show up and take pictures. Yeah, I caught that T. You was real low key with that shade, but it wasn't low enough, honey, because I caught basically you was trying to say that they show up of all the glitz and the glamour, but them heifers ain't pulling out no um, dollar bills. Um, when it comes to donating to the foundation and stuff like that. Just like Honey Boo Boo say, dollars make me holla, Honey Boo Boo. Well, Candy, Phaedra, and Nene ain't pouring out no dollars when they go to your little, um, with your foundation events and things of that particular nature. Um, so your um, event was supposed to be for all the movers and the shakers, women of Atlanta and things of that particular nature, but... It just seemed like you had a tent in the backyard, child, with an air conditioning unit stuck to it. Miss King was um, throwing shade because she was saying it was hot up in there. She was saying it was cold. I don't know which one she said it was. Basically, she said you ain't had no century or no century heat in that um, white tent in your backyard. Um, and I like how you said it was no man allowed, but your husband can come in there and shower you with all kind of gifts and things of that nature. So that's why you ain't want no men there. So your husband can come and outshine everybody. And what? What's up with that girl who was at the table with you making all them faces? Where'd she work at? What her receipts look like? 
Why is she a moving and shaking of Atlanta? I ain't trying to be funny, but I'm just trying to figure out who she is. She probably make more. Anyway, anywho, what else? Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, the whole episode was kind of funny. Um, I like how Kenya went out and she was like, "Did you smell that? It smells like manure out here." Y'all, I live for Miss Kenya. Miss Kenya don't care what she says or what comes out of her mouth. But that's the whole recap. Of, that's my recap of the Atlanta Housewives. Hope that next episode is a little bit better because it was a little slow tonight. But um, I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. Please travel safe. Remember the things that you are thankful for and don't be afraid to share it with everyone and your family and things of that nature. Um, have a happy turkey turkey day and I will talk to y'all later. Mwah.